It's camping time party people and I am so excited for today's video. I'm going to be showing everything that I bring with me as someone with a feeding tube. I'm going camping. I've gone camping one time before this. So I have a little bit of experience, but this is definitely a lot easier this time. Um, and I wanted to show just everything that I bring, how I'm going to keep my feeding tube clean in the forest, how I'm going to keep my feeding tube pump charged in the forest because it's not an elect it's a non-electrical campsite and there's not like water right there either. So I'm going to be showing everything I'm bringing and hopefully this will be a helpful informative video for someone that either just got their tube or is going camping for the first time with their tube or has a child with a feeding tube whatever your situation may be i hope this is helpful and if you're just curious thanks for watching and learning about something new um i've had my feeding tube for multiple years now it's super helpful it's kept me alive and healthy and i love it dearly um but it does mean i have a lot of planning that i have to do when I go anywhere overnight. Um, so I'm just gonna be showing everything I'm bringing and hopefully it'll be a helpful, informative video and I'll also bring you guys along for the camping part and show you guys the fun swimming times and the campsite and all of that fun stuff. So yeah, let's get into the video. So here we have all of the supplies that I'm bringing with me and I'm just gonna start up here with my feeding tube pump. So here's my pump and my charger, and this is my inverter. This plugs in to the car outlet and turns into a regular wall outlet, and I'm able to leave the car running and charge my pump that way. And then I have my feeding tube bags right here and a few extra extensions to bring in case I need to change that. And I bring a carabiner clip to hang these up on the inside of the tent, and that has worked with my tent personally, but I would definitely check that out with your tent depending on how much water or fluids you're bringing and how much like weight is gonna be onto the tent um, to definitely check that out before you plan on that for sure because that would be unfortunate if you your tent didn't, wasn't strong enough to hold it up is what I'm trying to say. And then over here we have some meds, the rest of my meds over here, some scissors, some tape, some syringes, and then I bring a spare feeding tube with me because whenever I go out of town, I always bring one with me in case I need to in case my tube falls out and I need to have something to hold my stoma open until I'm able to get a proper tube change. And then I bring my emergency meds and I bring gloves with me. And then this is how I keep my feeding tube clean in the forest. I bring a two gallon water jug that has a spout on the end. So I'm able to wash my hands with this and then use this to clean around my tube and wipe around it with these washcloths. And then I use this spray for after I go swimming to clean around my tube because I swim a lot when I camp so I like to keep it clean with this so there's not just like river water on me if that makes sense this is like usually used for spray face spray to like help with like mask acne and stuff but it works well for my tube I've personally had a good experience using it but that is everything that I am bringing with me along with my cane bug spray and sunscreen of course and my clothes and books and all that good stuff but this is my tube supplies. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask about them um, in the comments below. I'm a pretty open book. I like talking about this stuff and educating people and answering questions. So if you're curious, feel free to ask below. And yeah, let's get into the camping part of the video. We made it to the campsite. It is super beautiful here. I'm so excited. Oh, there's a bug. There's a lot of bugs though. So that is something that I need to get used to but it's so pretty. I'll show you guys the campsite. We got here and got set up and ate lunch and then went swimming. We did forget a few things, but this is the first camping trip of the season. So we are gonna make a master list when we get back <laughs> and then this won't happen again. But we have a fire going right now and we got firewood at the store and we're making marshmallow s'mores right now. So Lauren is making roasting marshmallows right now and we have a fire going and our tent set up and here is our table it's filled with everything i have s'mores stuff we've got coconut milk sugar coconut milk and coconut sugar chocolate with graham crackers and vegan marshmallows we went swimming so the pool noodles were very fun and we have the tent set up. And then this direction is a 
swimming area and I will show you guys that later on but here's the fire we got a bunch of firewood so we're set It is a beautiful day. It was really cold this morning, so I slept in and stayed in the sleeping bag for a while, but I got up and made a fire, and then we made breakfast over the fire, and now it's swimming time. I'm gonna show you guys the swim spot. When we found this spot last year, I was so freaking excited. It's beautiful. Ta -da! Look at this, and the water is super clear. I don't know if you guys, I think you can see that see all the rocks in the water. It's a little steep so Lauren helps me down but it's a fun. It's a little windy so hopefully that's not too bad on the audio. I'm gonna end the video because I feel like that's gonna be really loud but yeah this is the swim spot. Hopefully you guys can see me good. I'm going to wash my tube now, take my extension off and get it ready for the day. I have I can't really lift this very well, but I have a jug of water right here with a spout and my soap. So I'm going to wash my hands. The trees are all so green and all the leaves have come in. Spring is almost over and it's going to be summertime. I'm so excited for summer solstice. I'm going out of town for that as well. I'm actually getting prolotherapy done on solstice, on summer solstice. So that'll be, probably not exactly a fun experience, but it's worth it. So yeah, it's an injection based therapy to help with mobility and pain and structure and holding stuff together. But anyways. I am going to wash my tube. I've got my swimsuit on for later. Um, but all I do is I just get a little bit of soap after I wash my hands. I'm gonna take my extension off first. I have my extension. And a little bit of water. I think the water is cold. Wash around the tube, grab a clean washcloth, getting that wet. That thing is like, it is a very cold experience. <laughs> this is what I do at home every day. I just wash my hands and wash around my tube with Dr. Bronner's baby soap. And then wipe around, get all the soap off with the washcloth. So, make sure there's no soap left. And then I'm good to go for the day. I'm gonna wash my face next, but I don't think I need to show all that. <laughs> but, yeah, we are packing up right now, and then I'm gonna go swimming in this swimming area, and Lauren's gonna watch me and keep me company. And then we're gonna drive over to the day use area once time to leave this campsite and go swimming over there. Mm -hmm. 